Coal is a combustible black or brownish black sedimentary rock usually occurring in rock strata in layers or veins called coal beds or coal seams. The harder forms, such as anthracite coal, can be regarded as metamorphic rock because of later exposure to elevated temperature and pressure. Coal is composed primarily of carbon along with variable quantities of other elements, chiefly hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, and nitrogen. Throughout history, coal has been used as an energy resource, primarily burned for the production of electricity and or heat, and is also used for industrial purposes, such as refining metals. A fossil fuel, coal forms when dead plant matter is converted into peat, which in turn is converted into lignite, then subbituminous coal, after that bituminous coal, and lastly anthracite. This involves biological and geological processes that take place over a long period. The Energy Information Administration estimates coal reserves at 948A, 109 short tons. One estimate for resources is 18000 GT. Coal is the largest source of energy for the generation of electricity worldwide, as well as one of the largest worldwide anthropogenic sources of carbon dioxide releases. In 1999, World gross carbon dioxide emissions from coal usage were 8,666 million tons of carbon dioxide. In 2011, world gross emissions from coal usage were 14,416 million tons. Coal fired electric power generation emits around 2,000 pounds of carbon dioxide for every megawatt hour generated, which is almost double the approximately 1,100 pounds of carbon dioxide released by a natural gas fired electric plant per megawatt hour generated. Because of this higher carbon efficiency of natural gas generation, as the market in the United States has changed to reduce coal and increase natural gas generation, carbon dioxide emissions have fallen. Those measured in the first quarter of 2012 were the lowest of any recorded for the first quarter of any year since 1992. In 2013, the head of the UN Climate Agency advised that most of the world's coal reserves should be left in the ground to avoid catastrophic global warming. Coal is extracted from the ground by coal mining either underground by shaft mining, or at ground level by open pit mining extraction. Since 1983 the world top coal producer has been China. In 2011 China produced 3,520 millions of tons of coal a euro 49.5% of 7,695 million tons world coal production. In 2011 other large producers were United States, India, European Union and Australia. In 2010 the largest exporters were Australia with 328 million tons and Indonesia with 316 million tons, while the largest importers were Japan with 207 million tons, China with 195 million tons and South Korea with 126 million tons. Formation At various times in the geologic past, the Earth had dense forests in low-lying wetland areas. Due to natural processes such as flooding, these forests were buried underneath soil. As more and more soil deposited over them, they were compressed. The temperature also rose as they sank deeper and deeper. As the process continued the plant matter was protected from biodegradation and oxidation, usually by mud or acidic water. This trapped the carbon in immense peat bogs that were eventually covered and deeply buried by sediments. Under high pressure and high temperature, dead vegetation was slowly converted to coal. As coal contains mainly carbon, the conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. The wide, shallow seas of the Carboniferous period provided ideal conditions for coal formation, although coal is known from most geological periods. The exception is the coal gap in the Permiana Euro Triassic extinction event, where coal is rare. Coal is known from Precambrian strata, which predate land plants a euro. This coal is presumed to have originated from residues of algae. Types As geological processes apply pressure to dead biotic material over time, under suitable conditions it is transformed successively into peat, considered to be a precursor of coal, has industrial importance as a fuel in some regions, for example, Ireland and Finland. In its dehydrated form, peat is a highly effective absorbent for fuel and oil spills on land and water. 
it is also used as a conditioner for soil to make it more able to retain and slowly release water. Lignite, or brown coal, is the lowest rank of coal and used almost exclusively as fuel for electric power generation. Jet, a compact form of lignite, is sometimes polished and has been used as an ornamental stone since the Upper Paleolithic. Subbituminous coal, whose properties range from those of lignite to those of bituminous coal, is used primarily as fuel for steam electric power generation and is an important source of light aromatic hydrocarbons for the chemical synthesis industry. Bituminous coal is a dense sedimentary rock, usually black, but sometimes dark brown, often with well-defined bands of bright and dull material. It is used primarily as fuel and steam electric power generation with substantial quantities used for heat and power applications in manufacturing and to make coke. Steam coal is a grade between bituminous coal and anthracite, once widely used as a fuel for steam locomotives. In this specialized use, it is sometimes known as sea coal in the U.S. Small steam coal was used as a fuel for domestic water heating. Anthracite, the highest rank of coal, is a harder, glossy black coal used primarily for residential and commercial space heating. It may be divided further into metamorphically altered bituminous coal and petrified oil, as from the deposits in Pennsylvania. Graphite, technically the highest rank, is difficult to ignite and is not commonly used as fuel a euro it is mostly used in pencils and, when powdered, as a lubricant. The classification of coal is generally based on the content of volatiles. However, the exact classification varies between countries. According to the German classification, coal is classified as follows. The middle six grades in the table represent a progressive transition from the English language subbituminous to bituminous coal, while the last class is an approximate equivalent to anthracite, but more inclusive. Cannel coal is a variety of fine-grained, high-rank coal with significant hydrogen content. It consists primarily of exinite macerals, now termed liptonite. Hill's Law Hill's Law is a geological term that states that, in a small area, the deeper the coal, the higher its rank. The law holds true if the thermal gradient is entirely vertical, but metamorphism may cause lateral changes of rank, irrespective of depth. Content, early uses as fuel. Coal from the Foshan mine in northeastern China was used to smelt copper as early as 1000 BCE. Marco Polo, the Italian who traveled to China in 13th century, described coal as black stone as a, which burned like logs, and said coal was so plentiful, people could take three hot baths a week. In Europe, the earliest reference to the use of coal as fuel is from the geological treatise on stones by the Greek scientist Theophrastus. Among the materials that are dug because they are useful, those known as anthrax, coals are made of earth, and, once set on fire, they burn like charcoal. They are found in Liguria, and in alleys as one approaches Olympia by the mountain road. And they are used by those who work in metals. Outcrop coal was used in Britain during the Bronze Age, where it has been detected as forming part of the composition of funeral pyres. In Roman Britain, with the exception of two modern fields, the Romans were exploiting coals in all the major coal fields in England and Wales by the end of the 2nd century AD. Evidence of trade in coal has been found at the Roman settlement at Heronbridge, near Chester, and in the Fenlands of East Anglia, where coal from the Midlands was transported via the car dyke for use in drying grain. Coal cinders have been found in the hearths of villas and Roman forts, particularly in Northumberland dated to around AD 400. In the west of England, contemporary writers describe the wonder of a permanent brazier of coal on the altar of Minerva at Ackley's Sulis, although in fact easily accessible surface coal from what became the Somerset coal field was in common use in quite lowly dwellings locally. Evidence of coal's use for iron working in the city during the Roman period has been found. In Eschweiler, Rhineland, Deposits of bituminous coal were used by the Romans for the smelting of iron ore. No evidence exists of the product being of great importance in Britain before the High Middle Ages, after about AD 1000. Mineral coal came to be referred to as sea coal in the 13th century. The wharf where the material arrived in London was known as Sea Coal Lane, 
so identified in a charter of King Henry III granted in 1253. Initially, the name was given because much coal was found on the shore, having fallen from the exposed coal seams on cliffs above or washed out of underwater coal outcrops, but by the time of Henry VIII, it was understood to derive from the way it was carried to London by sea. In 1257 a Euro 59, coal from Newcastle upon Tyne was shipped to London for the Smiths and Lime Burners building Westminster Abbey. See Coal Lane and Newcastle Lane, where coal was unloaded at wharves along the River Fleet, are still in existence. These easily accessible sources had largely become exhausted by the 13th century, when underground extraction by shaft mining or adits was developed. The alternative name was pit coal, because it came from mines. It was, however, the development of the Industrial Revolution that led to the large-scale use of coal, as the steam engine took over from the water wheel. In 1700, five-sixths of the world's coal was mined in Britain. Britain would have run out of suitable sites for water mills by the 1830s if coal had not been available as a source of energy. In 1947, there were some 750,000 miners, but by 2004, this had shrunk to some 5,000 miners working in around 20 collieries. Uses today Coal as fuel Coal is primarily used as a solid fuel to produce electricity and heat through combustion. World coal consumption was about 7.25 billion tons in 2010 and is expected to increase 48% to 9.05 billion tons by 2030. China produced 3.47 billion tons in 2011. India produced about 578 million tons in 2011 68.7% of China's electricity comes from coal. The USA consumed about 13% of the world total in 2010, that is 951 million tons, using 93% of it for generation of electricity. 46% of total power generated in the USA was done using coal. When coal is used for electricity generation, it is usually pulverized and then combusted in a furnace with a boiler. The furnace heat converts boiler water to steam, which is then used to spin turbines which turn generators and create electricity. The thermodynamic efficiency of this process has been improved over time. Simple cycle steam turbines have topped out with some of the most advanced reaching about 35% thermodynamic efficiency for the entire process. Increasing the combustion temperature can boost this efficiency even further. Old coal power plants, especially grandfathered plants, are significantly less efficient and produce higher levels of waste heat. At least 40% of the world's electricity comes from coal, and in 2012, about one-third of the United States' electricity came from coal, down from approximately 49% in 2008. As of 2012 in the United States, Use of coal to generate electricity was declining, as plentiful supplies of natural gas obtained by hydraulic fracturing of tight shale formations became available at low prices. The emergence of the supercritical turbine concept envisions running a boiler at extremely high temperatures and pressures with projected efficiencies of 46%, with further theorized increases in temperature and pressure perhaps resulting in even higher efficiencies. In Denmark, a net electric efficiency of greater than 47% has been obtained at the coal-fired Norgelands for RKETCHP plant and an overall plant efficiency of up to 91% with co-generation of electricity and district heating. The multifal fired Avida Riva RKETCHP plant just outside Copenhagen can achieve a net electric efficiency as high as 49%. The overall plant efficiency with co-generation of electricity and district heating can reach as much as 94%. An experimental way of coal combustion is in the form of coal water slurry fuel, which was well developed in Russia since the days of the Soviet Union. CWS significantly reduces emissions, improving the heating value of coal. Other ways to use coal are combined heat and power co-generation and an MHD topping cycle. The total known deposits recoverable by current technologies, including highly polluting, low-energy content types of coal, is sufficient for many years. However, consumption is increasing and maximal production could be reached within decades. On the other hand much may have to be left in the ground to avoid climate change. Coking coal and use of coke 
Coke is a solid carbonaceous residue derived from low ash, low sulfur bituminous coal from which the volatile constituents are driven off by baking in an oven without oxygen at temperatures as high as 1000 AA degrees Celsius, so the fixed carbon and residual ash are fused together. Metallurgical coke is used as a fuel and as a reducing agent in smelting iron or in a blast furnace. The result is pig iron, and is too rich in dissolved carbon, so it must be treated further to make steel. The coke and coal should be low in sulfur and phosphorus, so they do not migrate to the metal. The coke must be strong enough to resist the weight of overburden in the blast furnace, which is why coking coal is so important in making steel using the conventional route. However, the alternative route is direct reduced iron, where any carbonaceous fuel can be used to make sponge or pelletized iron. Coke from coal is gray, hard, and porous and has a heating value of 24.8 million British thermal unit per tonne. Some coker-making processes produce valuable byproducts, including coal tar, ammonia, light oils, and coal gas. Petroleum coke is the solid residue obtained in oil refining which resembles coke, but contains too many impurities to be useful in metallurgical applications. Gasification Coal gasification can be used to produce singers, a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. This singers can then be converted into transportation fuels, such as gasoline and diesel, through the Fischer-Trupp process. This technology is currently used by the Sazel Chemical Company of South Africa to make motor vehicle fuels from coal and natural gas. Alternatively, the hydrogen obtained from gasification can be used for various purposes, such as powering a hydrogen economy, making ammonia, or upgrading fossil fuels. During gasification, the coal is mixed with oxygen and steam while also being heated and pressurized. During the reaction, Oxygen and water molecules oxidize the coal into carbon monoxide, while also releasing hydrogen gas. This process has been conducted in both underground coal mines and in the production of town gas. C plus O2 plus H2O H2 plus CO, if the refiner wants to produce gasoline, the singers is collected at this state and routed into a Fischer-Trupp reaction. If hydrogen is the desired end product, however, the singers is fed into the water gas shift reaction, where more hydrogen is liberated. CO plus H2O or CO2 plus H2. In the past, coal was converted to make coal gas, which was piped to customers to burn for illumination, heating, and cooking. Liquefaction. Coal can also be converted into synthetic fuels equivalent to gasoline or diesel by several different processes. In the direct liquefaction processes, the coal is either hydrogenated or carbonized. Hydrogenation processes are the Burgess process, the SRCI and SRCII processes and the NUS Corporation hydrogenation process. In the process of low temperature carbonization, coal is coked at temperatures between 360 and 750 AA degrees Celsius. These temperatures optimize the production of coal tars richer in lighter hydrocarbons than normal coal tar. The coal tar is then further processed into fuels. Alternatively, coal can be converted into a gas first, and then into a liquid, by using the Fischer-Trupp process. An overview of coal liquefaction and its future potential is available. Coal liquefaction methods involve carbon dioxide CO, too, emissions in the conversion process. If coal liquefaction is done without employing either carbon capture and storage technologies or biomass blending, the result is life cycle greenhouse gas footprints that are generally greater than those released in the extraction and refinement of liquid fuel production from crude oil. If CCS technologies are employed, reductions of 5 a euro 12% can be achieved in coal to liquid plants and up to a 75% reduction is achievable when co-gasifying coal with commercially demonstrated levels of biomass in coal biomass to liquids plants. For future synthetic fuel projects, carbon dioxide sequestration is proposed to avoid releasing CO2 into the atmosphere. Sequestration adds to the cost of production. Currently, all U.S. and at least one Chinese synthetic fuel projects, include sequestration in their process designs. Refined coal. 
refined coal is the product of a coal upgrading technology that removes moisture and certain pollutants from lower rank coals such as subbituminous and lignite coals. It is one form of several pre-combustion treatments and processes for coal that alter coal's characteristics before it is burned. The goals of pre-combustion coal technologies are to increase efficiency and reduce emissions when the coal is burned. Depending on the situation, pre-combustion technology can be used in place of or as a supplement to post-combustion technologies to control emissions from coal-fueled boilers. Industrial processes, finely ground bituminous coal, known in this application as sea coal, is a constituent of foundry sand. While the molten metal is in the mold, the coal burns slowly, releasing reducing gases at pressure, and so preventing the metal from penetrating the pores of the sand. It is also contained in mold wash, a paste or liquid with the same function applied to the mold before casting. Sea coal can be mixed with the clay lining used for the bottom of a cupola furnace. When heated, the coal decomposes and the bod becomes slightly friable, easing the process of breaking open holes for tapping the molten metal. Production of chemicals Coal is an important feedstock in production of a wide range of chemical fertilizers and other chemical products. The main route to these products is coal gasification to produce singers. Primary chemicals that are produced directly from the singers include methanol, hydrogen and carbon monoxide, which are the chemical building blocks from which a whole spectrum of derivative chemicals are manufactured, including olefins, acetic acid, formaldehyde, ammonia, urea and others. The versatility of singers as a precursor to primary chemicals and high-value derivative products provides the option of using relatively inexpensive coal to produce a wide range of valuable commodities. Historically, producing chemicals from coal through gasification has been used since the 1950s and has become established in the market. According to the 2010 Worldwide Gasification Database, a survey of current and planned gasifiers, from 2004 to 2007 chemical production increased its gasification product share from 37% to 45%. From 2008 to 2010, 22% of new gasifier additions were to be for chemical production. Because the slate of chemical products that can be made via coal gasification can in general also use feedstocks derived from natural gas and petroleum, the chemical industry tends to use whatever feedstocks are most cost effective. Therefore, interest in using coal tends to increase for higher oil and natural gas prices and during periods of high global economic growth that may strain oil and gas production. Also, production of chemicals from coal is of much higher interest in countries like South Africa, China, India and the United States where there are abundant coal resources. The abundance of coal combined with lack of natural gas resources in China is strong inducement for the coal to chemicals industry pursued there. In the United States, the best example of the industry is Eastman Chemical Company which has been successfully operating a coal-to-chemicals plant at its Kingsport, Tennessee, site since 1983. Similarly, Sazel has built and operated coal-to-chemicals facilities in South Africa. Coal-to-chemical processes do require substantial quantities of water. As of 2013 much of the coal to chemical production was in the People's Republic of China where environmental regulation and water management was weak. Cultural usage, coal is the official state mineral of Kentucky and the official state rock of Utah. Both U.S. states have a historic link to coal mining. Some cultures hold that children who misbehave will receive only a lump of coal from Santa Claus for Christmas in their Christmas stockings instead of presents. It is also customary and considered lucky in Scotland and the north of England to give coal as a gift on New Year's Day. This occurs as part of first footing and represents warmth for the year to come. Coal is a traded commodity, in North America, Central Appalachian Coal Futures contracts are currently traded on the New York Mercantile Exchange. The trading unit is 1,550 short tons per contract, and is quoted in US dollars and cents per ton. Since coal is the principal fuel for generating electricity in the United States, coal futures contracts provide coal producers and the electric power industry an important tool for hedging and risk management. In addition to the NYMEX contract, 
the Intercontinental Exchange has European and South African coal futures available for trading. The trading unit for these contracts is 5,000 tons, and are also quoted in US dollars and cents per ton. The price of coal increased from around $30 per short ton in 2000 to around $150 per short ton as of September 2008. As of October 2008, the price per short ton had declined to $111.50. Prices further declined to $71.25 as of October 2010. Environmental Effects A number of adverse health and environmental effects of coal burning exist, especially in power stations, and of coal mining, including, coal-fired power plants cause nearly 24,000 premature deaths annually in the United States, including 2,800 from lung cancer. Annual health costs in Europe from use of coal to generate electricity are of $42.8 billion, or $55 billion. Generation of hundreds of millions of tons of waste products including fly ash, bottom ash, and flue gas desulfurization sludge, that contain mercury, uranium, thorium, arsenic, and other heavy metals, acid rain from high sulfur coal, interference with groundwater and water table levels due to mining, contamination of land and waterways and destruction of homes from fly ash spills, such as the Kingston Fossil Plant Coal Fly Ash Slurry Spill, impact of water use on flows of rivers and consequential impact on other land uses, dismusance, subsidence above tunnels, sometimes damaging infrastructure, uncontrollable coal seam fire which may burn for decades or centuries, coal-fired power plants without effective fly ash capture systems are one of the largest sources of human-caused background radiation exposure. Coal-fired power plants emit mercury, selenium, and arsenic, which are harmful to human health and the environment. Release of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, causes climate change and global warming, according to the IPCC and the EPA. Coal is the largest contributor to the human-made increase of CO2 in the atmosphere. Approximately 75 TGS per year of sulfur dioxide is released from burning coal. After release, the sulfur dioxide is oxidized to gaseous H2SO2 which scatters solar radiation, hence its increase in the atmosphere exerts a cooling effect on climate that masks some of the warming caused by increased greenhouse gases. Release of SO2 also contributes to the widespread acidification of ecosystems. Bemediation, the white rot fungus C. versicola can grow on and metabolize naturally occurring coal. The bacteria Diplococcus has been found to degrade coal, raising its temperature. Economic aspects, coal is one of the backstop resources that could limit escalation of oil prices and mitigate the effects of transportation energy shortage that will occur under peak oil. This is contingent on liquefaction production capacity becoming large enough to satiate the very large and growing demand for petroleum. Estimates of the cost of producing liquid fuels from coal suggest that domestic U.S. production of fuel from coal becomes cost-competitive with oil priced at around $35 per barrel, with the $35 being the break-even cost. With oil prices as low as around $40 per barrel in the U.S. as of December 2008, liquid coal lost some of its economic allure in the U.S., but will probably be revitalized, similar to oil sand projects with an oil price around $70 per barrel. In China, due to an increasing need for liquid energy in the transportation sector, coal liquefaction projects were given high priority even during periods of oil prices below $40 per barrel. This is probably because China prefers not to be dependent on foreign oil, instead utilizing its enormous domestic coal reserves. As oil prices were increasing during the first half of 2009, the coal liquefaction projects in China were again boosted, and these projects are profitable with an oil barrel price of $40. China is by far the largest producer of coal in the world. It has now become the world's largest energy consumer but relies on coal to supply about 70% of its energy needs. An estimated 5 million people work in China's coal mining industry. Coal pollution costs the EU are $43 billion each year. Measures to cut air pollution may have beneficial long-term economic impacts for individuals. Energy density and carbon impact. The energy density of coal, 
that is its heating value, is roughly 24 MJ per kilogram. For a coal power plant with a 40% efficiency, it takes an estimated 325 kg of coal to power a 100 W light bulb for one year. As of 2006, the average efficiency of electricity generating power stations was 31%. In 2002, Coal represented about 23% of total global energy supply, an equivalent of 3.4 billion tons of coal, of which 2.8 billion tons were used for electricity generation. The U.S. Energy Information Agency's 1999 report on CO2 emissions for energy generation quotes an emission factor of 0.963 a kg CO2 per kilowatt hour for coal power, compared to 0.881 a kg CO2 per kilowatt hour or 0.569 a kg CO2 per kilowatt hour. Underground fires. Thousands of coal fires are burning around the world. Those burning underground can be difficult to locate and many cannot be extinguished. Fires can cause the ground above to subside, their combustion gases are dangerous to life, and breaking out to the surface can initiate surface wildfires. Coal seams can be set on fire by spontaneous combustion or contact with a mine fire or surface fire. Lightning strikes are an important source of ignition. The coal continues to burn slowly back into the seam until oxygen can no longer reach the flame front. A grass fire in a coal area can set dozens of coal seams on fire. Coal fires in China burn an estimated 120 million tons of coal a year emitting 360 million metric tons of CO2, amounting to 2 euro 3% of the annual worldwide production of CO2 from fossil fuels. In Centralia, Pennsylvania, an exposed vein of anthracite ignited in 1962 due to a trash fire in the borough landfill, located in an abandoned anthracite strip mine pit. Attempts to extinguish the fire were unsuccessful, and it continues to burn underground to this day. The Australian Burning Mountain was originally believed to be a volcano, but the smoke and ash comes from a coal fire that has been burning for some 6,000 years. At Kuai Malik in Yagnob Valley, Tajikistan, coal deposits have been burning for thousands of years, creating vast underground labyrinths full of unique minerals, some of them very beautiful. Local people once used this method to mine ammoniac. This place has been well known since the time of Herodotus but European geographers misinterpreted the ancient Greek descriptions as the evidence of active volcanism in Turkestan. The reddish siltstone rock that caps many ridges and buttes in the Powder River Basin in Wyoming and in western North Dakota is called porcelainite, which resembles the coal-burning waste clinker, or volcanic scoria. Clinker is rock that has been fused by the natural burning of coal. In the Powder River Basin approximately 27 to 54 billion tons of coal burned within the past 3 million years. Wild coal fires in the area were reported by the Lewis and Clark expedition as well as explorers and settlers in the area. Production Trends In 2006, China was the top producer of coal with 38% share followed by the United States and India, according to the British Geological Survey. As of 2012 coal production in the United States was falling at the rate of 7% annually with many power plants using coal shut down or converted to natural gas. However, some of the reduced domestic demand was taken up by increased exports with five coal export terminals being proposed in the Pacific Northwest to export coal from the Powder River Basin to China and other Asian markets. However, as of 2013, environmental opposition was increasing. High sulfur coal mined in Illinois which was unsaleable in the United States found a ready market in Asia as exports reached 13 million tons in 2012. World Coal Reserves The 948 billion short tons of recoverable coal reserves estimated by the Energy Information Administration are equal to about 4,196 BBOE. The amount of coal burned during 2007 was estimated at 7.075 billion short tons, or 133.179 quadrillion British thermal units. This is an average of 18.8 million British thermal unit per short ton. In terms of heat content, this is about 57 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. By comparison in 2007, 
natural gas provided 51 million barrels of oil equivalent per day, while oil provided 85,800,000 barrels per day. British Petroleum, in its 2007 report, estimated a 2006 end that there were 147 years reserves to production ratio based on proven coal reserves worldwide. This figure only includes reserves classified as proven. Exploration drilling programs by mining companies, particularly in underexplored areas, are continually providing new reserves. In many cases, companies are aware of coal deposits that have not been sufficiently drilled to qualify as proven. However, some nations haven't updated their information and assume reserves remain at the same levels even with withdrawals. Speculative projections predict that global peak coal production may occur sometime around 2025 at 30% above current production, depending on future coal production rates. Of the three fossil fuels, coal has the most widely distributed reserves. Coal is mined in over 100 countries, and on all continents except Antarctica. The largest reserves are found in the United States, Russia, China, Australia and India. Note the table below. Major coal producers. The reserve life is an estimate based only on current production levels and proved reserves level for the countries shown, and makes no assumptions of future production or even current production trends. Countries with annual production higher than 100 million tons are shown. For comparison, data for the European Union is also shown. Shares are based on data expressed in tons oil equivalent. Major coal consumers, countries with annual consumption higher than 20 million tons are shown. Major coal exporters, countries with annual gross export higher than 10 million tons are shown. In terms of net export the largest exporters are still Australia, Indonesia and Russia. Major coal importers, countries with annual gross import higher than 20 million tons are shown. In terms of net import the largest importers are still Japan. China and South Korea. See also. References. Further reading, Walter Licht, Thomas Dublin. The Face of Decline, the Pennsylvania Anthracite Region in the 20th Century. Cornell University Press. ISBN A0-8014-8473-1. OCLC A60558740. Long, Priscilla. Where the Sun Never Shines, A History of America's Bloody Coal Industry New York New York, Paragon House. ISBN A1-55778-465-5. OCLC A25236866. Rottenberg, Dan. In the Kingdom of Coal. An American Family and the Rock That Changed the World. Routledge. ISBN A0 415 93522 9. OCLC A52348860. Robert H. Williams and Eric D. Larson. A comparison of direct and indirect liquefaction technologies for making fluid fuels from coal. Energy for Sustainable Development 7, 103 Euro 129 R. Outwater, Alice. Water. A Natural History. New York, New York, Basic Books. ISBN A0 465 03780 1. OCLC A37785911. Smith, Duane A. Mining America, The Industry and the Environment, 1800 a Euro 1980. Lawrence, Kansas, University Press of Kansas. PA 210. ISBN A0 87081 306 4. Fries, Barbara. Cole, A Human History. Penguin Books. ISBN A0 7382 0400 5. OCLC A51449422. External links. Cole Online A Euro International Energy Agency. Coal Research at the National Energy Technology Laboratory, Energy Kids A Euro Coal Page from U.S. Department of Energy, European Association for Coal and Lignite, World Coal Association, Coal, Facts and Figures, 
International Coal Price Data